Hello everyone, John Thomas with HomeSalesForce.com team, brokered by eXp Realty. And I'd like to bring you a little presentation that we have uh, concerning 10 tips for home buyers during the COVID-19 outbreak. Mortgage rates will be volatile right now. The Federal Reserve has lowered interest rates twice in 2020, and that has had the effect of both increasing and decreasing mortgage rates. Uh, they've also decided to buy mortgage-backed securities, which will uh, which should help uh, the mortgage market. So you will need to check with your lender to make sure that your loan is still good. Even though you might not be ready to buy a house, you should start your mortgage process now. Start the pre-qualification process now. Yes, that's what I said. Due to low interest rates, many people had had been purchasing homes well before the COVID outbreak and huge numbers were refinancing because of interest rates being at all-time lows. So banks have been overwhelmed with purchase loan applications, refinancing applications, as well as applications from various government programs designed to supplement their income and their businesses during the COVID outbreak. Video tours versus real walkthroughs. In many areas, real estate has, been, has remained an essential service. So some folks have been doing live walkthroughs in vacant as well as occupied houses but it may be time to consider virtual tours. Agents home and homeowners have been doing live walkthroughs with Zoom, FaceTime, and other applications, as well as in-depth videos and Matterport tours, which are a specialized camera that does 3D renderings of a home. There's gonna be less competition out there, so obviously there will be less competition from buyers during this time. So if you feel comfortable with video tours and evaluating properties in real life with personal protection equipment, uh, you may encounter much less competition when making an offer on properties during this time. Fewer homes to choose from. In many parts of the country, there had, has been low inventory prior to the COVID outbreak, and some homes have gone under contract and closed even during the COVID containment. But few people have been willing to put their homes on the market. So even though there are fewer buyers, then are probably, there are probably fewer homes to consider at this point too. I hope that uh, the demand will be strong in the country as the country comes back online and that there will be a flood of new listings during this normally hot spring time frame. So be ready as soon as you can. Lenders may require a higher credit score. Because of the uncertainty of the job market, even if your job has been secure, the fear that the strain put on by the COVID outbreak may affect businesses now and into the future has put more pressure on individuals, individual buyers and their credit worthiness. So don't be surprised if you were pre-qualified before COVID and you don't qualify for the loan you expected with your current credit score. You may need to re-qualify or wait for the dust to settle at the banks and for them to feel more confident about the employment situation before going forward. More down payment. Even if your credit score is solid or the bank doesn't require a higher credit score for your current loan package, they may require more down payment to take on the risk of underwriting your loan during this turbulent time. Employment verification. Don't be surprised if you're required to verify employment several times before your loan is finally underwritten and up until the last day of closing. With the volatility of the job market, lenders want confirmation that you are still working and your company plans to keep you on going forward. Appraisals. Don't be surprised if your appraiser doesn't even go inside the house. Since people don't want appraisers or vendors of any kind in their homes for the fear of, COVID, of the COVID virus, many appraisals are being done exterior only and relying on the pictures of the interior from the listing to verify certain upgrades and condition. You may have to sign an appraisal waiver at the time of closing confirming that the appraiser wasn't able to enter the property. Digital closings. I've been, to a clo I've been to closings where the attorney or escrow agent was in full hazmat gear and required every person to be in a separate room, plus preparing completely separate sets of documents to sign that were married up you know, later on. Some closing agents are bringing documents out to the buyers and sellers in separate cars in the parking lot, then sending the, com sending the completed package to them electronically once everything has been completed. Some states have allowed fully digital closings already, but this could be something new in other areas. So for more information, contact your real estate agent, mortgage broker, or closing agent if you have any questions, or reach out to our team and we will get you answers to your questions.
Thanks and happy hunting.